Wash your desks, you disgusting animals. It's episode two of Stay In With Me. Yes, tell this to all the world. It's the apocalypse, bitch. So it's week two of the coronavirus outbreak and shit's getting real. Boris Johnson's now come down with the infection. So, you know, shit is getting real and I might die. But we are here for some degenerative amusement and death isn't that funny. Although, I will say, the only people that are going to make it out of this epidemic with the sanity still intact is going to be those with the darkest, sickest sense of humour. And I know some of the most darkest people right now are working in the medical profession and the most anxious people work in supermarkets. <laughs> I'm in danger! It kind of sucks to have a job right now though because now is like the worst time, apart from the obvious, to come up with an excuse not to come into work and do overtime. They know you've got nothing on. They know you're just at home dossing about, wanking yourselves into a big wet pit of shame. So yeah, can you come in and cover Tuesday evening, Reese? So it's really important that we get this place organised, ready for the weekend. Ah, oh, Tuesday. Ah, oh, I would, but I've got this. Um, I've got this thing on. You've got a thing on. What thing exactly would you be having on right now, other than me? Oh, you know, I'm making origami. I'm learning how to make a kuri catcher with my daddy. In fact, I can make one. Fold in half one way and then fold again the other way. <sighs> Aha! Green. G-R-E-E-N. Pick a number. Pick number three. You will die of the coronavirus. I'll try again. Orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Pick a number. Seven. Your podcast is shit. Load of bollocks anyway. So has anyone out there completed xvideos.com yet or is that just is that just me? Because I know that's what everyone's doing. They're all getting promiscuous with your upright organs. My hands are so fucking dry. My hand I feel I literally feel like a lizard right now. My hands are drier. They're as dry as Weetabix. My hands are as dry as Weetabix. Imagine having Weetabix for hands and having like Weetabix minis for fingers. Is that why the government has told us to stop shaking hands? And every time you shake hands, if you've got Weetabix for hands, would you have to say, nice to weet you? And when you say goodbye, do you have to say, good to see you a grain? Puns aren't really my forte, to be fair. But I'm thinking about Weetabix, I think, because I've been thinking a lot about food lately. Specifically, I've been thinking about how little I've been eating. So I have cut down significantly the amounts that I've been eating, simply because we don't know where we're going to be in the next couple of months. So, you know, I think it's important now to start rationing out and being as efficient as possible. And speaking of efficiency, I'm actually using a bag of rice as a tripod right now for the camera that's holding all this shit together. I'll show you. Look at that right there. Mr. Fucking Innovator for you. So yeah, I'm trying to ration the ingredients out a little bit, and that is actually a perfect segue into our first feature, which is called Watch Your Ration. So as you're aware, supermarkets have kind of upped the game a little bit this week because of the lockdown. They've introduced a few policies to keep people distance from each other. And one of their measures has been introducing a one in one out policy, which I think has worked out well because one, everyone has been spread out and you've not got as much contact. And two, there's been more things on the shelves, which is always a good thing compared to last week's frenzy, there's been more supplies to go around for everyone. And it's an important reminder that none of these supplies would be here if it weren't for the fucking drivers of this country right now. And I'm serious, kudos to all drivers. I'm just so sorry that this week I've been very disappointing and all I managed to concoct for this podcast as a ration has been a little apple. But what I'm going to do is what I always do for making up for disappointing people, and that is by telling you all some interesting facts. Did you know 
that apples contain no fat or cholesterol and are a great source of fibre. Did you also know that there are over a hundred different varieties of apples sold commercially around the world, but that is nothing compared to the 19th century when there was 14,000 different varieties of which fruit historians actually call the golden age of pomology. Wow! Don't say you never learn anything from watching my podcast. That was my ration. So the country is in full lockdown, which was inevitable, which means this virus doesn't also just suck for people with ongoing health problems. But you have to feel a certain amount of sympathy for those under the radar occupations, you know, like burglars. You dedicated scumbags who relied on people leaving their houses so they can pinch your tallies while you're out, knowing full well that you're not going to be able to watch Piers Morgan the next morning, which might not be such a bad thing. Schools are closed, which is bad for teachers parents, kids, dinner ladies, and groomers. It's gotten that bad, pedos are now catfishing kids offering a toilet roll and a kiddies Kleenex for a sexy picture. Then again, it's been worthwhile for some sectors of the population. Knowing that you're going to be in 24-7 will certainly put a smile on the face of every debt collector and bailiff in the country, wankers. At least they know when they knock on your door, you will be in. I think it's time for his next feature, which last week was called Legend of the Week. But I've changed it around a little bit this week because I felt a bit disingenuous with how I've been portraying the human race. Like I said, this pandemic has brought out the worst and the best in people. And even though I want to keep this show positive, I think it's only fair if we highlight some of the absolute fucking spanners as well. So this next feature is called Spanners and Legends. And here we go. Let's start off with our first spanner. So the first span of the week comes from this dude in Romania who's been trying out the Billy Gilmore challenge, a challenge consisting of playing keep your beat with a toilet roll for the same time that it takes to wash your hands. You really fucking feel that though, don't you, let's be fair. The next span of the week goes to these pair. I don't know where this originates from, but it's been circulating on Facebook and clearly demonstrates how not to walk a fucking dog during lockdown. Now let's move on to the legends. So the first ledge goes to a guy named Conor Mulvenny, who's clearly a fan of the band Volpec, but frankly he must be bored of singing happy birthday to himself twice, so he's geniusly invented himself a new and sleek set of lyrics to sing whilst he washes his hands that incidentally I now know off by heart. You gotta scrub a dub a dub. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, that's how long it takes for the liquid to break. Find a funny song, and sing it to yourself while you wash your fingernails. Let the leather accrue, though it doesn't have to be the antibiotic variety. No, it don't, you know, any regular soap will do. As I'm singing deep down to myself, we're almost there. Now we're clean. You've done it. It didn't take you very long. Rinse it off, shake it off, paper cloth And I gotta ensure that I use my elbow To turn off the drippy drippy water I wanna be clean until I gotta rub a dub a dump The next set of legends goes to the staff workers in this COVID-19 unit My sister actually posted this Who's been in the middle of the outbreak Cause she's a paramedic and deserves all the appreciation that they're getting at the minute. And you know, I'm just feeling this man. This is this is cute. Which brings me to the legend of the week. Um and this week it has to go to the whole of the UK man after clapping for the NHS on Wednesday night. It was quite something to be a part of and I'm a hipster so I don't like joining in these things but it was really quite emotional and it was really touching to see and hear it in my own street. But what I want to know is, like, if there was no nurses that was working on shift at that time, yeah, what did they do? Did they go outside the houses and were they just like, thank you, thank you, yes? Or did they join in and clap in? It doesn't fucking matter, does it? Because that's who the Legend of the Week goes to. So this week's Legend of the Week goes to the UK and all the NHS staff in the UK. <laughs> Legendary. 
And that only means there's one feature left, and it's called Show Us Your Meme. So, for a brief explanation of this feature now, I took a lot of inspiration from Barstool Sports, and if you haven't checked it out, you really should. It's a guy that basically rates pizzas, right? But he has a rule. Everybody knows the rule. Is you can't just give a solid number for the rating, okay? You've got to have a decimal point, right? And I like that kind of thinking because that's how we work it on Show Is Your Meme. So somebody's pulled me up eight and nine memes here that has been posted during the week. And now it's my job to rate them. So let's play Show Is Your Meme. Okay, so this first one's clearly from uh, a scene in Shawshank Redemption. So... Uh, I don't, I immediately don't like this because I hate memes that don't use proper English. Which ye end fear. That's not what Morgan Freeman would say. Morgan Freeman would say, I was wondering what Andy Dufresne was in for. So I asked him, what are you in for, Andy Dufresne? And Andy Dufresne would say something like, I'm getting busy living. I was busy living, but now I'm busy dying. Because I went for a walk for the second time. But, I mean, I have to rate this, you know, in the midsection because it, it's it's very true. The big thing at the minute is going for the second walk, which uh, which obviously we're only allowed one walk a day. So, I'll rate this. Um, this is like, I'll have 5.1 for this. So, it's, 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 you know, it's average. It's okay. Next meme. Me, why do I have to come into work, employee, because you're essential, me. Now this is, this is very funny. I particularly like Seth Rogen. <coughs> and this is, uh, this, this reminds me of, of me, to be fair. So every time I've, I've been leaving Tesco, which is where I work, I've been telling all the other employees, stay essential. Stay essential. Stay essential. So this is a high, high one for me. I, sh I actually shared this, so I've, I've seen this before. But this is like, this is a seven. This is a seven point eight. Next meme. Walmart limit two per customer. Me. All four times. All four of Justin Trudeau's. So this is the Canadian Prime Minister. <laughs> I think he's got in trouble for doing that blackface as well. Um, but yeah, this is this is funny because obviously he's, he's trying to be four different characters, isn't he? So he can get more 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 shit. This reminds me actually something that my mate highlighted the other day, and that is like how difficult must these times be for families that have got loads of fucking kids, like five or six kids, who like every time they go for a shop, they're like bulk buying. And now we've been restricted to bulk buying, like, so we've only been limited to, like, two or three tins. It must be really hard for them at the minute. Um, because that, that was a normality, and now they've been told, obviously, you know, you can only have, you can only have a certain amount of items. This is, this is, yeah, this is up there, so I'll give this, um, this is a seven, this is a 7.3, I think. So, next meme. Government. No touching your face. Everything on my face. Itchy time. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, it's just, it's just dead true, isn't it? Like, there we go. I'm itching my face. Just, just looking at this fucking weird little eel thing, or wherever it is. Is that a whale? I don't know. Was it like a dolphin that's had his head smashed in? I don't know. Same thing, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna give this, um, this is up there, this is an 8.3, so, next me. Government, work from home, <laughs> zookeepers. <laughs> that, that's made me laugh, so, that's the, that's the first, as the first time seeing that, that's made me laugh, so, is that, that's like, an 8.6, next meme. Italian mayor, we can't cremate bodies fast enough to keep up with coronavirus deaths. Germany, looking all shifty eyes. Yeah, this is a Nazi joke, this is a Nazi reference, uh, and they're always winners in my boot. So, I'll give this, that's, that's like a 6, that's a 6.8. Okay, next meme. 
all the students on their webcams at 8 in the morning waiting for class to start. <laughs> okay, so we've got fucking hell, we've got loads of people there. Oh, they're all like, well, is that uh, Tower of the Crater at the bottom? I think it is. There's Bjork. Uh, there's Montano, the guy that reviews albums. And that top left one, that's Tom York. The left is that fucking dog. Love me country. Um, I bet the way the way I'm sitting in this meme, I, I look like one of them students. Yeah, this is this is kind of funny. I'll give this a seven point six. So that's a seven point six for me. So next meme. Girls, oh my god, quarantine is so boring, boys. <sighs> yeah. Uh, scene from Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man, the best Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. I'll fight anyone to the death who disagrees with me. Um, he's obviously been fucking wanking himself into a big wet pit of shame, like most of us. So, I'll give this a... I don't want to... All these scores are being pretty... Si they're on a similar level today. Um, and I like to separate one from the other, but that isn't... That isn't as good as the itchy face meme, so I'd say that's like seven. I'll give that a seven point three. Okay, so next meme. Got to feel sorry for Philip Schofield. Just come out now. He's been told to stay in, <laughs> and his face. Poor Phil. Oh my god. <laughs> didn't Piers Morgan actually? Didn't Piers Morgan do a joke like this live on Tally? I swear he did. And Paul Philip was left like with that look on his face. Yeah, this is kind of funny because this is not just like related to the coronavirus. It's also bringing in a pop culture reference as well, and I like that. Um, so I'll give this. This is this is. I'll give this an eight point one. So that's an eight point one, and that's uh, that's the end. And of course, that sound signifies the beginning of the page and the end of this show. So, again, I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, you know, stay essential and good luck out there. Yes, tell this to all the world. It's the apocalypse, bitch. <laughs>